Hi everyone, welcome to the start of this channel. So basically what it is, it's just gonna be a small channel based around uh, botany and botany type stuff, particularly cactus and succulents. Um, just showing how to grow, showing the collection that we have and showing any advice and just tips and tricks on how to grow them or if you wanna start your own. Um, but yeah, this will be showcasing just the type of cactus and succulents we have growing right uh, now. video, we're just gonna show off the, uh, the collection that we have here, so of rare, Cactus. Okay. okay. Got a collection number, Reich and Bachian. 2017. This is 2013, and they should grow faster than that. But it's this plant right here. Echinocereus pectinatus. I think this is probably, I don't have it labeled, this is probably 2013, 14, 15, maybe. This is from a seed from, uh, this is Mammillaria gramii from Tucson. I got this seed. It's from uh, 2005. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's... And then did you graph it with the multiple heads, or did it just grow? No, it just grows like that. There's this other one that grew from seed. Only two sprouted. One is, is like... And then I bought this one. But you can't really tell them apart. Yeah, they do look pretty similar. And they're the same plant. It's just... I don't know where this came from. This is from Tucson, Mammalary Graham. These are from seed. These are hard to grow when they get big. This is... Um, Astrophytum asterius, the sand dollar cactus. They mm. rot really easy when they get big, but there are, people love them. The Japanese grow all kinds of amazing cultivars. These are just from Texas. Seed probably from Mesa Gardens. That's a, most people know about Mesa Gardens. They sell all kinds of seeds. A lot of these yeah. came from Mesa Gardens. Um, what do we have in here? These, this is an aerial carpus fisheratus. These big ones, I bought these. Mm -hmm. They were about half that size. They're about, I bought them about when we were in Arizona. Mm -hmm. they, they weren't very expensive. I got these at Arizona Cactus Sales. Okay. It's an excellent uh, place. He had a lot of them. He bought them from a collector who died in Texas. That was, he told me, so I bought a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. And I've only rotted <clears throat> one of them. Because oh, I, can't, I can't replace them. They, yeah. They've gone up in price so much now that I don't even want to think about trying to replace them. But no. <laughs> to give you an idea, that cost me 20 bucks. That's a $20 cactus? No, now now it's probably 1000 Wow. Cactus prices have really gone up, which is actually, I'm happy about that because it was too cheap. I mean, cheap. it's good for a collector like you with a, quite a big collection. Well, they were too cheap. But okay. Yeah, these are really nice. These um, flower in the fall. Mm. People really like them. These are seed grown. I, these came from these. Yes. Yeah. That's the seed pod right there. This is how the seed pods start. Right there, you can see it coming up. Yeah. They sprout pretty easy from seed, but they're super slow. Like, for instance, this one here I grew from seed. This is from maybe 2004. Oh, okay, so they do grow progressively over time. Just they just take a long time. They grow slow the way, then, I, the way I grow them. It's not hot enough for them. They grow these, faster when it's hot. What, uh, where are these native to? Texas. Native Texas? Okay. And these are from Texas. I'm sure they were field collected. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think they grow into Mexico, northern Mexico too. Okay. This is an Epithelantha bokei. Yeah. I like those as, as seed grown. Uh, yeah, I like the look of it, definitely. There's a whole bunch right there. These all seed grown or? All seed grown. Oh, okay. I got the seed from, again, from Mesa Gardens. Yeah. The original ones, and then I grew these from seed. Mm -hmm. And you, I pollinate them. I pollinated some today with a paintbrush. Uh, they don't get very many seeds per pod. This is a related one, Micromeris. It just grows seed like crazy, and it's self-fertile, uh, so you don't really need to pollinate it. Escoberia Lee from around Carlsbad Caverns. That also is a tiny plant I bought from Mesa. They also sell plants. That's a plant from Mesa, also is a tiny plant. These are about 2002, 2004. I'm not okay. even sure. This was a, this was a Mammillary Crucigaria. I bought the original plant from Abbey Gardens. It got very big 
and then started to die so I had to decapitate it and three of the four stem cuttings grew and they're starting to grow. Uh, these are hard to find now. They're really neat. Abbey Gardens was a great nursery but it is no more. Here's another seed pod out of the Aerial Carpus Fisher Radis, see how they come out? Yeah. Oh, so they just usually with like the wind, it'll pick them up and. Uh, I don't know. I think probably not the wind. Probably some in the wild, probably some rodent. Oh, okay. I don't know. Here's more of these seeds. These are really neat. Real pretty. Okay. And, uh, so these, these are like. This is Echino, Echino Cactus Horizontalonius. This is the Texas Blue Barrel. These are really neat. Um, some of my biggest and heaviest cactus. It's gonna flower. Weighing, weighing about what, like you'd say, like maybe five pounds, maybe a little more? I don't know. When, it, when it's full of water, I just watered them a week ago, they're heavier because they fill up like um, sponges. Oh, okay, so they soak up in. Yeah, they, they get real fat. This one's probably gonna flower too. You don't want to water them too much. The clay pot helps. Um, mm. Here's some I grew from seed. They're hard to germinate from seed, um, but once they're up, they're easy to keep going. They're easy for me to keep going, but the seed, they're very difficult to germinate from seed for the way I do it. Mm. Here's one I got. When I bought this one, it was flat as a pancake. Really? So what made it grow up? Water. So this is actually something pretty cool right here. That little guy right there is a seedling of... You know, cactus horizontalonius. They're really hard to, uh, for me to germinate, but there's one germinating. The rest of these are something else I put on, Turbinocarpus valdesianus. Over the top of these seeds, which for six months refused to sprout, but there's one right there. So you can see his big seed, and there's his big body, and they rot really easy when they're small, so I have to be very careful. And that will grow up and turn into one of those big flowering Sure, in about 50 years. And so then from that little seedling, they eventually grow up to the those guys. And then how old would you say those ones are? These ones here? Yeah. yeah maybe two, three years old. Okay. And then the big one right there, that's about 50 years old. I guess I didn't grow up from seed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mammillary lenta. I bought these at um, Arizona Cactus Sales. That's, uh, six. Yeah. I bought these off the internet. This is a more recent purchase and it was quite expensive because um, cactus are expensive. But I wanted this. It was off eBay. Oh, okay. What is it? This is Mammillary humboldtii. And it, for some reason, it's called Xyloform. I got it from Plant Seca. He's got mm -hmm. some really neat cactus and um, they're super expensive. Mammillary cochtibianus. You even can see the seeds in there, see? Yeah. So. Okay, that I means it's gonna. Well, this the seed pods came up and I harvested the seeds, but I didn't get all of them. Mm. Here's a bunch I grew from seed. These I got from Miles to Go. He's an excellent source. These are Miles to Go. Yeah. Oh, here's a seed pod coming up. This is Mammillary hintonii. It's like a miniature version of. No, not mammillary, Aerocarpus hintonii. Oh, okay. It's a miniature version of the Fisher Radis, I guess. And mm -hmm. that's one I grew from seed. Same thing, I think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Philo cactus, um, that's from Arizona cactus sales. There's another one of those mammillary uh, humboldtii. There's a mammillary humboldtii I got from miles to go. It's a little bit different form. It's a more typical form. I, I had a really big one of those, but it self-destructed on me. Here's some neat uh, Aerocarpus cochtimianus. Mm. These I find fairly easy to grow, but um, and they have really pretty flowers in the fall. Philocactus hectroformis. That's a really neat and underrated cactus. I got that from miles to go back in like 2003 at a that is a cool LA looking one. Cactus show. That's a really really cool looking one. Yeah, they're just underrated, I think. And here's a. Baby seed, one of them? Super slow. Oh, okay. Here's some from seed. Eventually, from I run out of place to put the seed grown, so they end up in here. Mm -hmm. And here's um, Epithelantha gregii from Mesa Gardens. I bought these a long time ago, and there's a collection data somewhere. Uh, the description was um, black tip spines, or I suppose if you look close enough. 
to get fruit. Hopefully I cross this with the other big rainbow cactus, Echino serious rigidimus. I think this might be rubrospinus. Yeah. But I'm crossing the rubrospinus with the rigidimus just to try to get some just viable see. seed. Oh, okay. And these are really neat, seed grown. Yeah, these are Astrophytum really- Astrophytum Mario stigmata variety quadrocustatum. That means they have four ribs instead of five. What's in here? So these are Areocarpus retusus. Mm. This I got from Mesa a long time ago. They used to sell a living rock collection, 10 plants for like 30 bucks. It was oh, that's a, a good great deal. deal. Yeah. I got this and with this, I got a note that said it was 14 years old and I got this about 20 years ago. Oh wow, so that means it must it's be super around. old. So yeah, it's quite old. I think I got this from miles to go. I got these plants are older than me. excellent grower of Areocarpus. This is from Miles to Go, this is from Mesa, I grew that from Seed. Mm -hmm. These I got from Miles to Go. This is Areocarpus bravoiensis. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to grow some from Seed right now. That's Mammillaria rosio centra. That's really old. I cut the top off, or the top got cut off. That's so, why there's five. Oh, that's why there's five of them? Yeah, that happens. Oh, okay. okay. Here's some Mammillaria herrerae. They're from seed. Okay. They germinate. Old one. Um, I got this from a guy named Woody Minichi at his, I went to his house and he had really? a little tiny thing. He had it for sale. He's an interesting character. Oh, that's cool. At least he got, you got it from him. And what's, uh, what's this yellow one? It's really pretty. That's Mammillaria carmenae. Oh, okay. That's from Mexico. And there's some, oh, from seed. Oh, wow. All from seed? It looked like honeycomb almost. Yeah. So, this was decapitated. Mm. I have one in another bench that I decapitated because when they get look tall like this, mm. they just are asking to be decapitated. This is a rare one, Mammillary Teresa. Difficult to grow from seed, it's seed grown. Mm. And uh, it's really a, a beautiful plant, it's a rare sort of. Oh, okay, what type, when it flowers, what type of flower does it? It's a big violet. Areocarpus. Mm. Um, I don't even know what kind that is. I, it might be retusis, it might be another kind i'm not sure okay this is uh, one i just bought a little while ago from miles to go yeah aerocarpus retusis it's really neat okay is that gonna get bigger this, yeah hopefully um, this is a cutting head stem cutting from mammillaria area that started rotting i had to do stem cutting mm -hmm. common mammillaria i don't know what kind i just bought it because it was neat a big retusis they don't flower very good for me this is a coripantha that's a Turbinocarpus, there's another seed grown aerial carpus retusis. I got a few of these. They they do seem to rot. I think you have to be careful with the watering if it's not warm. There's more Oh yeah, you can see that there's yeah, certain they open up and the seeds in there. Oh okay. So when the rain hits and they open up, you get the seeds out and you can grow the seeds. Best time to grow the seeds is probably in the fall or the winter, at least here in Southern California. Oh yeah, they definitely are splitting Freaky, open. Huh? That is kind of. These are all Dudleyas, native Californians. They're very easy to grow. This is a common golden barrel. Oh, that's really pretty. It's my biggest cactus. Someone gave that to me. Mm -hmm. uh, another Dudleya. Oh, okay. It's... No compared to the other ones. These are grown from seed. Those are from seed, and they're the same age as the little tiny things. Mm -hmm. That's because these are the kind you would see for sale at like Home Depot or something because they're actually fast growing. Oh, okay. Here's the flowers of the Dudleya. Hummingbirds like them. They grow out on the, on the Channel Islands. Oh, wow. And there's a lizard. Where? Oh, that's Friendly sick. Lizard. Here's Love. some feral cactus, Viracensis. I got these from seed when we lived in San Diego. Oh, I, really? Yeah, I saw some of these growing. They're little baby barrels. They were on Black Mountain. I was going to say, they look like barrels, but they're, they're baby ones, right? Yeah, so I had tons of seed. I threw them in the boojum tree, and I had just these sprout. Oh, wow. They're, I don't know, 10 years old, maybe. There's a very old uh, Mammillaria hania, haniana. It's easy to grow. There's some South African... Uh, Blanking on the name. <laughs> Blanking on the name. It's all right. 
Ferro Cactus. Mm -hmm. Not from Miles, a little while ago. This is where I go on a lot of lithops. Oh, okay. These are lithops. species. This is not a lithop. That's a lapidaria. Mm -hmm. Lithop, lithop. This is. There's a couple of random cactus mammalaria and a tur big Turbinocarpus yarnigii. Yar mm -hmm. That's where the seeds came from, those little ones I had. Yeah. Seed grown. All these are seed grown. Okay. Mostly from Mesa, although sometimes I, people will send me the seed. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're pretty small. I mean, and I think. Uh, Is that a good one or no? I, I have listed when I started them. Oh, yeah, on the side right there. 19. 412. Okay, so in 2019, and let's see how big they are. Oh, so they're definitely... That's the Dinter, Dinterianus right there. These are just lithops that I threw in there because I don't want to waste a pot if only one That's plant true. sprouts. Yeah. Uh, a lot of these seeds came from, again, Mesa. They have a pretty good selection. Maybe the best in the, in the, in the U.S. Really? For uh, South African plants Mesums and or aerozaceae and what is that that is pretty interesting right there this this twisted, one here this twisted spine one yeah, yeah that's uh astrophytum mm -hmm. capricorn we got that and locally that was from um desert creations okay we went down there and uh, james wanted that one really mm -hmm. that's a lobivian and that's a echino serious kiplinianus mm -hmm. from miles to go Okay. Grew that from seed. That's Mammillaria albiflora, and I cut the top off. They don't flower very good for me, mm -hmm. but they're very rare. Okay. Mammillaria uh, guzeliana. I don't know. They got really pretty flowers. The hook spines, right? Yeah. Careful. Pediocactus simpsonii. Mm -hmm. They like to clump for some reason. Mammillaria plumosa. This is fat, one of the faster growing cactus. You can see this getting seed. Oh, yeah. Mammillaria. Yeah. Rebutia, Rebutia. I have some South American, not too many. Uh, Mammillaria candidia, Mammillaria herraria. This is a, a top cutting. These are seed grown Coripanthas retusis. Super old. I don't know why they grow so slow. Mm -hmm. They just do. That's Mammillaria saboe. Yeah. How do Miana? That's the top, or I cut the top off, the mammillary D. hertiana. Mm -hmm. uh, it gets really tall, so I cut the top off to try to get a clump. Let's try to get it, okay. And uh, it's clumpy. Yeah. They're hard to find now for some reason. And this is a Turbinocarpus cunitianus. Oh, wow. It's from Miles. It's a pretty nice So up here, what do we have? These are summer dormant South African succulents, mostly conophytums. Mm -hmm. This is the Pteridopsis, a name I couldn't remember. This is Alonopinensis, mm -hmm. uh, conophytum, conophytums. That's a dead layer from around here. But they, you see how they go, they go dormant, but underneath the dead skin, you can see that they're still living. They're just waiting for the fall. Yeah. And that's when they flower and come to life. So basically, these ones grow reverse of cactus. There's some seedlings. Yeah. Oh, they're really small. Yeah. The seeds are super tiny. Okay. How long have these been growing for? Uh, a year. Oh, okay. So they look rather slow to grow. Yeah, they're faster than cactus, but... Um, I don't know. My opinion, they, but they're also kind of tricky. They're their own special little mm -hmm. idea. You can see some of them; they just they just look dead, but they're not. They're just dormant. So they go dormant in the summer and then just come back. Yeah, because the where they're from is like here. It doesn't rain mm -hmm. in the summer, so they just 
wait for the rain to start in the fall. Okay. So we can do another one and when they flower, they're very pretty. The flower, yeah. I think we can get one of the, the flowers. And then what do we have on this bench? Various Oops. overflow. What is this unique That's guy? a sedium. Oh, okay. That's from Algeria. Those are pretty easy to go here, but it's dormant, so it looks sort of unhappy. Dead. And the spider web one? That's a Semper virum. That's from Europe. Okay. This is odds and ends here. Just this is, more, this is more like what you'd expect. Um, uh, someone to use it. Succulent collection to look like in an apartment or who's not doesn't want to spend a whole lot of time just on a simple wooden wooden bench a little bit of shade um yeah and they they got various cactus and succulents and uh yeah any okay. advice for people who want to start a cactus collection you don't need a fancy greenhouse you could you could build these things and just cover them this is 50 percent shade cloth this is 40% shade cloth. I like the 50% a little bit better, but yeah. the 40% works okay. Um, and just cover them with plastic if it rains in the winter. They're portable if you live in an apartment or wherever. Yeah. I think it just works good again. These are portable. If I never move, I'll maybe put a greenhouse up. Yeah. A shade house it would probably be a shade house. Yeah, So, but this, this shade cloth does still work well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, well, yeah, that's the uh, the collection right now, and.